And our final guest speaker today is Mr. Lucius Matthias. A warm welcome for Mr. Lucius. Sportsmen, Olympians, well wishers, and friends. I am greatly honored to have been given the privilege on behalf of all of us here of saying a few words of thank you to our fellow Ugandan and Olympian Mal Malkit Seng Son and for inviting us here this evening. Malkit has organized this lavish event at his personal cost to demonstrate his love and friendship for all his fellow Ugandan sportsmen, Olympians, friends, and well-wishers. The evening has brought us together after 44 years. We have tons of memories, both on and off the field. And Malkit's vision was for us to get together in pleasant surroundings, to relive and share with each other those fond memories and thereby strengthen our regard and friendship for each other. Well, some memories may not be so fond, particularly if we lost a match by a narrow margin. But that didn't matter, because I see that quite a few have come from far and wide, from the UK, from Kenya, from the East and West Coasts of Canada, and from the United States, to share in the happy, happy memories of yesteryears. <clears throat> Friends, I must tell you that the Gorns and Sikhs in East Africa were both fierce competitors on the field and both fought very hard to win. But when the game was over, we respected each other and we were the best of friends. And I know of so many instances where each has helped the other off the field. This to me is true sportsmanship. I would like to recognize and acknowledge tonight the generosity of Malkit's dad, Mr. Didar Singh, who on several occasions has come to the aid of the Uganda Hockey Association with his large donations to defray the costs whenever any international team from India or Pakistan or elsewhere visited Uganda. We players did not know what went on behind the scenes and the organizing work that was done by the UHA executive. We just trained hard and gave our best on the field. But these visits were made possible because of Malkit's dad's generous donations and it gave us, the players, the exposure expertise and finesse to other international hockey players. Can we please put our hands together for Mr. Didarsson? <laughs> Malkit has had a brilliant career on the hockey field. He is highly respected for his enthusiasm, hard work, speed and talents not only as a hockey player, but as a humanitarian. He has shared the secret of, of his success with other budding sportsmen and attended interviews. The one that stands out in particular is the one he gave on Radio Uganda in 1995. He told the interviewer that he, he would help young Ugandan sportsmen as best he could, and that he saw no reason why Ugandans could not be successful on the world scene. That was very encouraging, Mokit. Mokit, on behalf of all of us here, I would like to express our sincere gratitude to you for your vision and generosity in planning and funding this reunion of sportsmen. We have all thoroughly enjoyed the evening, the food, the drinks, but most of all, the camaraderie and the fond memories. You have honored each of us tonight 
with gifts and medals and tons of perfection. It is truly a very memorable night for all of us, one that we will never forget, one that has exceeded our wildest expectations. So we get applause for that. Yeah. <laughs> Our very best wishes to you, Loki, and your family, and we pray that your business ventures will continue to grow and be successful, and that you will be blessed with good health and every happiness. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the staff of Prith Palace for the lovely food, the people behind the bar there, and the servers, Thank you all very much for making this a great evening for all of us. A sincere thanks too to the organizers of this who helped Malki in putting this party together. They are all here, I don't want to mention them by name, but a round of applause for you. Thank you very much for having me. I would now like to call upon Mr. Talochan Singh and, and his wife, uh, the beautiful Mrs. Hartinder Singh, to make a donation. Ladies and gentlemen, and uh, our dearest friend, Malkit, I don't have words to add to what has been said. You all know him more than I do, but little I have known is there are no words to thank him. His humbleness, his generosity, Malkit, we admire you. We have admired his sports spirit at the games, his sports scoring ability, but this special ability which has come to light today, we have heard from other speakers as well. We really thank him and all of you, all the Olympians and those who have attended this function, particularly Tari coming all the way from Kenya. It's a great honor, really. I feel very blessed along with my wife that we got this opportunity to come and be together in this gathering tonight. Thank you very much, Maki, for your invitation. And uh, as an appreciation, I would request my wife to give you this small token. I was supposed to say a few extra words, but I leave that for Malki to read later because we are getting late. Thank you. The love and affection you all have given me today, which I'm taking care of with me today, I, I, I would say only go ahead and do it all today. You, God bless you all, only what you have given me today, I will never ever get that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before we make another small presentation to Malki, would you all please join me in a thunderous round of applause to Malki for bringing us together this evening. Yes, we can bring the roof up. Please stand and give him a hand. Thank you. And now may I call on Zen D'Souza to join me in a presentation of our remembrance to Malki in honor of the celebrations today. This generous event, as far as I know, is the first. I do not know of any other sportsman anywhere who has had the vision and the graciousness to organize and pay for a reunion of old teammates and fellow sportsmen. Asenta Sara Sara Malkith. Asenta Sara to the end. Yeah, it's great to meet you. Yes. Thank 
Thank you, Lucius Mathias, Zenon D'Souza, Mr. and Mrs. Dolochin Singh Sandhu. An evening like this is impossible without the help and support of many people. So for those people, we want to say a small thank you. So please may I ask Ms. Rupinda Kaur Dabwa to come up. She's the owner of Creek Palace. May I ask Ms. Mrs. Tracy DeMello. May I ask Mrs. Amrit Kaur Jukla. May I ask Mrs. Gurbak Kaur Bogle to come up. A warm round of a welcome. <laughs> Gore Bogle, who, without the help and support of her husband, Mr. Ajit Singh Bogle, her son, Sonny Bogle, and cousin, Hadeek Bogle, this event wouldn't have been possible. So a warm round of welcome to the Bogle family. <laughs> Miss Cressy De DeMello, who's just corrected me. <laughs> a warm round of applause for Cressy DeMello, who, without Nick DeMello, this evening wouldn't have been possible either. Who helped with the name tags. So if anyone was rejected at the door, apologies, but he was under strict instructions from me. And last but not least, Mrs. Hamsin Jutla, Amrita, who also has been an absolute rock in organizing this event, I can't see him. So a warm round of applause for our welcome, for our helpers, and our supporters. And that concludes the evening. I want to say thank you very much for making the time and traveling from so far and why to make this evening very special. For me and Bobby, it's been a complete pleasure to actually have worked on this. I feel like I've got to know all of you, and today was about putting faces to names. Um, you all are a wonderful, wonderful audience, and I hope you've got out of this as much as we have. God bless you all, and Kaveri.